Hey folks, I hope you're all doing well on your healing journeys. And in this video, we're going to be talking about if you are subclinical. And so that means if your problems are not severe enough to warrant a professional diagnosis at your doctor's office or at the hospital. And um, lab tests for years now have been the reserve of the medical industry. So you go to the hospital, you go to the doctor's office, and as standard, they will run some tests on you and the reason why they run these tests is to make sure that your levels are not extremely out of the ordinary and to rule out any presence of chronic severe acute disease that could be life-threatening to you and so what happens if all of your tests come back and you're fine what happens if the doctor can't give you a lab guided diagnosis well, if you are one of these people where you know there's something wrong with you, you just know you're not feeling yourself and you go to the doctors, the hospital, the, the health clinic, and they run some tests on you and they come back and they say, everything is fine. What do you do with that information? Well, you are what's known as subclinical. It means there's no clear path forwards for you as to what to do next. And um, what you probably have is something that in medical terms is known as idiopathic. And that means... There is no known cause of uh, your condition. Now, if you've ever been in this situation, and I know I have, it can be extremely frustrating because you know there's something wrong. And in my case, there was physically something clearly wrong on my skin. And yet there was nothing that they could do for me. All it was was, you know, take these drugs. You know, maybe you'll pass through this phase. Maybe you'll get over it. Or maybe this is even something that you've got to live with for the rest of your life. And so... My problem in their eyes was subclinical. It wasn't life-threatening, but yet it was a big deal to me and it was definitely something I wanted to get to the bottom of. And so fast forward eight years and um, it's led me to this point where I am a functional health practitioner because I want to deal with people who are subclinical. I want to help people who have gone to the doctor's office and been sent away and been told, you know, there's what you have is idiopathic or what you have is something that we're just going to have to hope that you will grow out of or you will pass through or maybe you'll have to stick with your meds for the rest of your days and just deal with being in this condition. Now, as functional health practitioners, we run a different kind of lab test. We don't just screen for worst case scenarios and life-threatening diseases like what might happen to you when you go to the hospital or the doctor's office. We look more at function, the function of the body, and we also don't zoom in to any particular area of the body. We look at the body as a whole, acknowledging that all of the systems and the organs and the cells in the body work together. And rather than zooming in and treating things specifically, we take a more zoomed out approach and we look at everything in the body and try and identify as many areas of dysfunction and imbalance as possible. Let me give you an example. So let's say somebody comes into a doctor's office and they're complaining of tiredness, fatigue, maybe sensitivity to cold, maybe they've got some weight gain that they can't seem to get rid of, uh, maybe they're just feeling tired all the time. The doctor might look at this person and make the assessment that there's something wrong with the thyroid. That's a very typical set of symptoms for somebody who's got an underperforming thyroid. And so what do they do? They run a lab test looking at the thyroid, looking at all the markers on the thyroid. And lo and behold, tests come back, hypothyroidism. This is what you have. This is your diagnosis. And uh, what's the solution? Well, here's your thyroid medication. And this is going to keep you within the lab range that we want to see and um, hopefully you know you're going to feel a little bit better as a result. So what would be wrong with this type of approach? Well firstly we've learned nothing about why the thyroid is underperforming and if you don't want to know why the thyroid is underperforming then this really isn't the video for you. You don't really want to do a deep health investigation into your body. You just want to take your meds month to month and there are millions of people around the world doing just that. But as functional health practitioners we know that in the vast majority of thyroid cases in particular, it's not just thyroid that has woken up one day and decided it can't be bothered to pump out as much hormone as it did yesterday. 
This isn't how this stuff works. There's usually a cascade of dysfunction in the body that has led up to this point. There's a number of imbalances that have happened beforehand that we can get a grip on and that we can test for and control in order to make the thyroid do the job that it's supposed to do. And if you take this approach and you correct the hidden, deeper, underlying imbalances, then there's a high chance that that person's going to feel a whole lot better than if they just take some medication that's going to fix the lab results. The other thing is if you don't work in this way and if you don't correct the underlying imbalances, what's likely to happen is because those imbalances are still there, undiscovered and untreated, that could lead to some other symptoms showing up in a different way further down the line. So even though your thyroid might be functioning okay because you're taking the meds to get that under control, your body is still in a state of dis-ease, it's still in a state of imbalance, and so that is going to show up in some other way at some point in time. And so this is the preferred way to conduct this kind of investigation. You want to look at as many areas as possible, underlying areas in the body, and identify as many healing opportunities in the body as possible. We kind of ignore the symptoms, and we look at the body as a whole instead, at a functional level and we don't treat or look at anything specifically but instead we look at all of these areas of the body hormone immune system digestive system detoxification the energy production areas of the body the nervous system and we identify as many healing opportunities as possible as many areas of imbalance little bits and pieces that we can tweak here and there to make the body function as a whole better and guess what that cascade that we were talking about of dysfunction it starts to work in the opposite way it's an it turns from a downward spiral into an upward spiral. We correct the fundamental workings of the body at a core level, and then this has a downstream effect on how the body functions. So if you did want to run an in-depth health investigation with us, how it would work is, firstly, you set up an exploratory call with us, and there's a link to that below this video, and then you sign up to get started, and we will send a bunch of lab test kits out to you, you then provide the samples from home and send those off. And whilst we're waiting for those results, we begin our consultations together. And so there's quite an extensive intake process where we find out a little bit about your medical history, your health history, what's been going on with you from a symptomatic point of view. But we also do as large a scale assessment of your health as possible. So this is a bunch of questionnaires, basically, to find out as much information about you as possible, because that factors heavily in our results and recommendations session that we'll have with you once the lab results come back. If you're also coaching with us, then we will be able to guide you through the bespoke healing program that we've built for you as a result of everything we've learned from your intake process and the, the lab, the functional lab results as well that we've run. And we will be in a position where we have a more detailed analysis of you than you'll probably have running any other type of investigation because we'll have looked at you from a coaching standpoint, you know, from all the health investigation stuff and medical history, but also from a functional physical lab test point of view as well. So you'll have sent in your stool samples, your urine samples, blood samples, maybe hair samples if necessary. And we will have a whole lot of information to go on. And this is how we can completely and comprehensively as possible find out what is going on in your body. So a lot of people talk about root cause and what is the root cause of my problem? What's the root cause of my disease? Well, this type of investigation really, depending on how you want to look at it, it uproots multiple root causes, probably, you know, tens or dozens of root causes in the body, not just one or two. So we're not talking about, you know, just, just running a pathogen screen here and finding out that perhaps you've got some parasites, get rid of those. We are running an in-depth investigation that looks at all of these areas that we were talking about and identifying healing opportunities in all of them. So if we do find a parasite, then absolutely that is a healing opportunity. We need to get that sorted. But we might also find something that we can do in terms of your cortisol levels, your DHEA levels, perhaps as an imbalance in that area. And we can give you some ideas and some things to work on in order to restore balance in that area as well. So I hope you get the idea of how this, uh, this investigation works. I'm going to keep educating you through these videos. And um, thank you for spending the time to, to learn about this stuff. And if you do want to start a investigation, a health investigation of your own, and you're interested in coaching with us, then please get in touch with us, 
drop us drop us a comment or just drop us an email or set up a free exploratory call and have a chat with us using the link down below. Thanks very much.